Hello everyone, this is Mathieu from Evolute and first of all I'd like to thank and congratulate everyone that made it to the fifth tutorial about Evolute Tools Pro. Today we'll have a quick and easy tutorial about conversion of meshes to and from curved networks. When you use Evolute Tools Pro to do some geometrical optimization on your designs, you need to work on meshes. However, in practice, your designs might be defined using curves. This can be the case because of importing and exporting geometry from different software or because of the application that you're working on. It's especially true regarding grid shell optimization and in many cases panelizations can be designed using curves as well. This is why we developed a tool to go back and forth between meshes and networks of curves so that you can integrate Evolute Tools Pro better within the workflow of your project. If we look at this simple shell example where all the beams are defined by simple line segments, well you can easily convert this using the mesh from curves comments by selecting all the segments and simply converting to a mesh. There is no need to define the curves with one line segment per edge of the mesh. Two other typical ways to define them would be with polylines intersecting each other or with closed curves representing, for example, each panel of the design. In both cases, by using the exact same commands, you can generate the exact same mesh. If the design of the curves is somewhat imprecise and they don't exactly intersect each other, you can still try to raise the tolerance parameter and the command will attempt to generate the best mesh possible while respecting the topological constraints. If your design already includes a BREP representation of the structure, you can use the use reference geometry parameter and add this BREP uh, as a parameter of the command that will be used to guide the results. It's especially useful, again, if the curves are not designed very precisely. Once you have a mesh, you can use its topologically rich structure to work on it, do some optimization, for example, with Evolute Tools Pro. And then you can use the inverse operation to get back a network of curves and integrate the new design in your workflow. The command is called extract mesh polylines and in this case you can choose between extracting faces so as we saw earlier the closed curves for each face or curves which represent the crossing polylines of the network. You can also just choose to extract the boundary of the open mesh. In this case I'm going to extract curves, select the mesh, And I created again a network of curves following the edges. In addition to the applications I mentioned before, this is in general a very convenient tool to do local operations on meshes. If you start from a mesh and you want to do some local transformations, it's easier to go through a network of curves and pull back the mesh, including the, the transformations. I'll show it on a simple example, and I'll use this occasion to introduce another command that we recently introduced to Evolute Tools Pro. This command is the mesh geodesic, which essentially performs like the command that allows you to draw curves on a surface. Here we can select a mesh, 
and draw a curve on a mesh that will follow the shortest path. For example, here I drew this curve. Now, if I extract polylines from this mesh, like this, I can include this new curve that I designed to the curve network and generate a new mesh including this new curve. That's it for this quick overview of this very simple but useful functionality. As usual, if you have questions or if you want to receive a trial for Evro Tables Pro, just hit us with an email and we'll do the best to help you. Bye-bye.